So I want to say good evening to everyone. Um, this is Kimberly James. I'm the city council for Ward 1 in the city of the great city of Forest Park. And uh, I, I host these ward meetings once a month on the third Thursday of the month to give information on you uh, to you about things that are happening in the city of Forest Park. And I like for you to hear it from the what I call subject matter experts. Um, opinion. So um, right now we have representative with us from our public works department and our fire department. So we're going to go ahead and start with Director Jinx. It, can you give us an update on things that are happening uh, within your department, sir? Sure. Nice to be here tonight and everything. Thanks for the invite. Uh, we are strongly hiring and we have uh, six candidates on background check. Oh, background. So hopefully uh, all them will come back good, and we'll get six more people on the staff and promoted one and uh, getting ready for the spring. Rain sort of slow, slowed us down past couple of weeks, but we was able to get the uh, ball fields ready because I know they're going to start playing on them here within the next few weeks. So uh, as soon as the rain slows up and the weather permits, we're going to be on pothole duty. And I had a complaint this week about New Birch Road. That road is actually on the list. It was supposed to have been paved last year. So it should be one of the first ones to be paved when they start paving here in the summer. And um, like I say, the parks crews out working, the street crews are out cleaning up. Uh, debris and making a list of all the potholes so we can get on potholes and uh, building maintenance is putting up the new city flags on the poles if you have not noticed. Yay! So, uh, <laughs> so they finally came in and they got started on that and uh, other than that we're just trying to keep waste management doing their job and keeping them straight. All right, so that means we're not going to have to go through the summer with the winter um, banners up, right? <laughs> you will not see them winter banners no more. <laughs> they went with a generic banner, so they will stay up to my knowledge. All right, awesome, awesome. Now, real quick question about Newburgh's Road. I know that was one of um, my residents that had called about that. So um, since it's on the list to be repaved, does that mean that the potholes won't be filled in until the repavement is done? No, no, no. As soon as it stops raining, we can go out there and do some temporary patches. Okay. And I'm glad you brought that up. Well, side subject. April the 2nd, that should be a Saturday. Neighborhood clean sweep. And if you go on the city's website and Facebook, we're doing our north and south side clean up with the, with the uh, Ministers Association again. I think they start on the south side, but the north side, if I remember correctly, it's going to be June 25th if that's a Saturday and uh, we'll be doing some more posting with Mr. Lord he's real good at getting the word out and I've already sent him all the information and the flyer so he will be on top of it perfect so, so that's two uh, events coming up in your area perfect thank you looking forward to participating all right, we're going to move to our fire department. We have our EMS coordinator, Sergeant Jelmini. Just Did Andrew. I, I don't, I'm not actually a sergeant, <laughs> but yeah, that'll work. <laughs> so thank you very much for having me. Uh, just a quick thing, COVID is still continuing to trend downward in the city. Uh, according to the report we received on Tuesday, we're actually down another 55% from where we were in the previous two weeks. So that's fantastic to see. It showed that we only tracked nine active positive cases that were diagnosed in the last two weeks. So that is great news to hear for all of us. Um, the CDC is continuing to encourage and recommend vaccinations and boosters for everybody against COVID-19. And these are available through several different means. Uh, currently, recommendations for vaccine are anybody six months and older. 
The current recommendation as far as boosters go is for at least six months after receiving the second dose of either Moderna or the Pfizer vaccines, and then two months after receiving the Johnson & Johnson if you received the single Johnson & Johnson dose. You can text your zip code to 438829 or call 1-800-232-0233 to find local vaccine providers. You can also contact your primary care physician or your local pharmacies to see if they're giving out the vaccines and boosters, or you can also visit vaccines.gov. Clayton County Health District is giving vaccines based on their availability and are rotating their locations throughout the county to make it easy to access for citizens. They are requesting that people that wish to receive a vaccine or a booster call their number, and their number is 678-479-2223. All of that information on the vaccines and websites and phone numbers you can visit is also available under the fire department's page of the city website. If you click on COVID-19 information, it has the links to the Georgia Department of Public Health, as well as the Center for Disease Control and those phone numbers available for everybody if they want to use them. Um, mask mandates. A lot of folks are starting to see some relaxation of the mask mandates and not being as strictly upheld. So some businesses in some areas are starting to relax those, but the CDC is still recommending that if you're not able to social distance in public places with people of extended period of time, that you continue to wear a mask if the mask makes you comfortable and you're comfortable in it. So that's pretty much where we stand right now with where COVID is in the city. It's great to see that we're continuing to trend downward and hopefully we will continue to go downward with, with COVID numbers. Uh, just some general info about the fire department. We are currently hiring also, so be on the lookout for flyers that are going to be coming out very soon on act open positions with the fire department. And also make sure that if you have a Facebook account, you're following us on the Facebook account. Just look up Forest Park Fire and Emergency Services. You should be able to follow our page and stay up to date with city information. We share the city's page as well as the city shares ours on important information that's coming out and things that we're doing as a department. Uh, some other great news. We recently graduated three new hire firefighters from the Georgia Public Safety Training Center as firefighters and have them back at work. We did a little week training with them when they came back just to make sure that they were good to go and they are back out serving the citizens here in the city. Uh, we also hosted this week the Georgia Public Safety Training Center here in the city doing a crash victim extrication course, which is designed to teach first responders, fire and EMS personnel on how to remove people that have been trapped inside of a wrecked vehicle. So we were able to successfully host that class for 12 of our members, all the way from new firefighters to administrative personnel. I myself actually went into the class as well. So we were able to host that on Monday and Tuesday very successfully. And we're also going to be hosting Grady Memorial Hospital several times over the next couple of months to teach some classes to our personnel to uh, help our members with some continuing education needs, as well as to improve our knowledge and give us that practice in medical treatments, treatments of traumatic injuries, treatments of burns, treatments of heart patients, and as well as stroke patients. So that's where we are with the fire department currently. Thank you so much. I appreciate that information. Now there's someone on the line that has an 8644 is the last four of your number. Uh, if you're one of our department heads or city employees, let me know. I think I have you muted. So you're on the phone. You'll have to hit star six to unmute your phone if you are a city employee. Good evening, good evening, good evening. This is Sergeant Zachary, everybody. Good evening. Hello? So Sergeant Zachary is from the um, police department. Go right ahead, um, Sergeant Zachary. Yes, hello everyone. Um, again, again, like always and everyone, we're recruiting, recruiting, and we are hiring. Please come see us if you want to be involved in your community, if you want to serve the people of Forest Park, you have honest and integrity, you know, please come see us and join us. Um, we have some police officer positions, as well as some supervisor positions, as well as communication officers. You can go on the city website, um, to look at those um, job offerings. Um, let's talk about some things that's want to bring to everyone's attention. We had some fraud cases re recently. People, please just be aware. If you receive a check of a large amount, and for whether it's an online job or they say you got an inheritance, whatever it may be, and they say you cash it and send them back, it's most likely a scam. Um, so just be careful of those checks because once you deposit them into your account, they're going to pretty much be returned insufficient funds. And you have already 
since that money off of wherever they tell you to send it to. So anything that say, well, they tell you about the gift card. If they go to um, any CVS or somewhere and buy like 10 gift cards a certain amount, do not do that. If it's for a car purchase, if it's something you saw on um, the Facebook marketplace, eBay, anywhere with online shopping, please do not um, fall into the hands of that predator. Now, we also have a parking spot out front. We had some individuals that had some um, incidents where they were trying to sell some cell phones. It's a parking spot out front at Forest Park Police Department located at 320 Cash Memorial Boulevard. It has 24-hour surveillance. If you choose to do an online transaction where it's a buy, purchase, whatever, tell them to meet you at 320 Cash Memorial Boulevard, Forest Park Police Department. The spot has a green sign. You can sign in. You can park in that spot. And if you feel as though you may need an officer present, if we're available, you can come in and we would definitely try to assist the best we can. However, like I say, that space is there and it's always under um, video surveillance. So use that as an option when you're online and you're thinking about buying any kind of items, whether they're low dollar, high dollar, whatever, um, and tell them to meet you here at Forest Park Police Department. If they say, ah, I want to meet you down the street, you already know it's probably a scam because they can't meet you here and make an honest sale. Something is definitely wrong with that. So just be careful of, of, of those couple of items. And also, once again, make sure you're locking your vehicles, you're locking your doors, rolling your windows up, taking your valuables out, out the plain sight. Don't leave your weapons in the car overnight. Don't leave your purses on the seat, credit cards, money, anything tempting to anyone in, in sight in your vehicle. Don't leave it in your cup holder, nothing. Take out everything, like I say, of value. Um, laptop, work laptop, cell phones, anything. Take them out. <clears throat> Excuse me, and we'll look at also, we're going to start back hosting some of our programs. So we're starting back up with that. So be on the lookout. We'll, po we'll post the junior cadet and citizen police applications. They'll be online in our Facebook, and I'm going to send out an email blast here as soon as we get everything planned out. So definitely if you have children um, that you want to introduce to some of the law enforcement world, that junior cadet program will be an excellent option for them. And the Citizen Police Academy, of course, other the adults. But like I say, that information will be posted um, here at a later time. And what we're doing this month, we are hosting a firearm safety training. So actually, we have one this evening at 6 o'clock. If you want to come out and join us, please, if we're done here, please do. We'll be at um, Forest Park Police Station at 320 Cash Memorial in the courtroom. So we'll be back there starting at 3 o'clock. I have some refreshments for you. If you're getting off work, come on and join us, and I'll have some giveaways, of course. And the next one will be on the next Tuesday, March the 22nd at 5 p.m. at the community center at 696 Main Street. Once again, we have a firearm safety training. Please don't bring your weapon. Please do not bring any weapons to the training. Um, you're going to be briefed on. You'll get information on the basic firearm safety as well as the Georgia gun laws. Once again, no weapons are allowed at the training and no weapons will be used during the presentation also. So join us for one of those dates, um, if you will. And outside of that, I think that's all I have on the PD side. I hope everyone is keeping safe. And once again, if you need us, you know how to contact us. Um, the Community Affairs email has not changed. It's spcommunityaffairs at forestparkga.gov. You can go to the website or our Facebook page and reach out to us from there also. Other than that, thank you all. Have a great evening and please stay safe. Thank you, Sergeant Zachary. <laughs> I appreciate that. We're gonna move. <clears throat> excuse me. We're gonna move on to our recreation department. Um, let's see. We have Director Maxwell on the line with us. Director Maxwell. Good evening. How's everybody doing? Doing great. Thank you, sir. Uh, just to let you know what we got going on in the recreation department. Uh, we're here enough for baseball season. Practice starts next week. Opening. Day is April the 16th, so be on the lookout for more information for that. Uh, we're also registering for our spring break camp. Uh, spring break camp starts April the 4th, so parents, if you need something for your kids to do while you're at work, when school is out, please come sign up. Stop by the recreation department and sign your kids up. Uh, we're also getting ready to start registering for summer camp. Registration for that starts April the 4th. So that's the first day of spring break camp. We start registration for summer camp. So registration is $50 a week. And we register kids between the ages of four 
and 12. That includes lunch and breakfast. So make sure you guys get by. Spots are limited and they fill up pretty fast. Also, we have our spring festival slash egg hunt, April the 16th at Kiwana Stadium. That's from one to five. And I'm telling you, this is going to be something big. We're not going to tell everybody all the details just yet, but I'm telling you, we're going to have over 40,000 eggs. And we got some great, great entertainment that's going to come through. And you'll start seeing news on that pretty soon. So once again, I thank y'all so much and look forward to working with you. Awesome. And I know this weekend we got the socks. Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah. Shop? This weekend, this weekend we got the pop-up shop, pop shop at the recreation center from 10 to 3. So come and uh, <laughs> shop with some unique goods and products. Awesome. Thank you. Now, there is someone on the line that says City of Forest Park, and I'm not sure who you are. Are you a staff member? That will be D and I. Oh, okay, perfect. All right. So, um, Ms. Dixon, do you have any updates on any upcoming events? Yes, we do. Um, if you guys missed out on the walk, um, the hunger walk um, that we just had a couple of weeks ago for the city of Fort, for Forest Park High School, you missed out on an amazing walk. Um, that proceeds go to the Forest Park High School to help feed the people in the community and that we still need, um, still dealing with these trying times. Um, we have a walk with the mayor on this Saturday at nine o'clock in Star Park, we'll meet at the amphitheater. We're gonna start um, our walk at nine o'clock with the mayor. Um, so please come on out and join that walk, get your heart rate up. Um, and then we have for our uh, seniors, we have the Senior Panthers in Action Committee is having a bingo night tomorrow night at the Senior Center from five to nine. And that is hosted by our Councilman Hector Gutierrez from Ward Three. So if you um, have some family that are what I call the seniors in the family, the well, uh, good, good wisdom, as they call it, um, please make sure you bring them out. We'll have some food for them to eat and drinks, some good prizes, giveaway and good times. Awesome. Thank you so much. So, again, everyone, um, I host this uh, meeting once a month just to give you information on what's going on in the city of Forest Park, we want to try to keep you informed. The information has been recorded and will be placed out on the website for you to go back and, and take advantage of it. Take advantage of all the opportunities that we have within the recreation department, um, all the uh, events that we have. I'll be walking with the mayor and I'll be seeing who's got some stuff that I can buy this Saturday. So um, hopefully I'll be uh, able to see you out there um, and again, uh, to all of our directors and staff members, thank you so much for participating. Thank you for getting the information out to our residents and not going to prolong the time. Thank you very much. And you all have a great evening. Thank you. You be safe. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Ms. James. Bye.